Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we're gonna go back out for some more axis here and like I was saying in the previous video I think we'll probably go for some cinnamon teal also today But true axis are only a few weeks away and I am super super excited to be able to go out and hunt some of them But before that happens we need to try and find ourselves a legacy diamond Because I don't believe I've had a legacy diamond in quite a while and I know that most of you guys want to see that so we're gonna be trying to get that as usual We're also gonna go for some cinnamon teal along the way since we have quite a few small plaques to go for so Let's get straight into it. All right, everybody before we get to the actual hunting I just wanted to real quickly say that we are really really close to 4,000 subscribers We are only 315 away as of recording this and I'd love to get to 4k before the end of the month We've got a couple weeks left, and I think we can do it So I would really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button right now and like the video while you're at it, but let's get straight into the hunt now. Fortunately, it's pretty hard to see what any of these teal are, but I believe this is a red female, and that's something I do want to put in the lodge. We don't have any of them currently, so... Take her out real quick and see what else flies off. Everything else looks pretty normal, so we'll just get this guy. If we can... Actually surprised we didn't get any of those huh well then all right So let's grab this little teal right here, and yeah, it is a red one So that's awesome. We'll tax that and throw it on one of those small plaques I do hear a mountain lion around here or I guess puma, but you know same thing But I do hear one of them around here, which means there probably won't be too much going on when it comes to axis deer unfortunately, but it's worth a quick look around here anyway now my tent is pretty close to one of their zones So I'm gonna have to fast travel back there. I just need to run away from it far enough to where they'll actually spawn in and Then we will fast travel over there but I do want to check this spot because it can have access to from time to time Provided the pumas aren't causing too much issues and looks like there is some puma problems so we're just gonna fast travel back to the tent and see if there's any access here and there is all right, so We're gonna take out a couple of these guys before they run away I'm pretty sure it's behind the hill so didn't connect on that other shot, but we got one of them down So let's go get the one that we did take out all right here. It is just a Average size level 3, 269.20. A good little start. That was a decent shot on it too. I'll take that. Stomach, liver, right lung. Not too bad at all. Uh, we might be able to get another shot in. Oh, yep. Right here. Here is our chance. Don't know if we got that. I don't think we did. But there's a four so hard to get the aim steady once you've been aiming at them for a while and of course he'd turn well not going the way I was hoping this would there's a couple nice fours too so I'd like to get them but I just don't know if they're gonna cooperate or not all right so we did actually get non vital organ hit on this one so it should die no problem I don't know where those level fours are gonna end up it might be a little bit hard to find them and but it actually looks like we hit one of them so that's actually pretty nice. So we should have one of those down. I didn't see it ever flinch though, so I'm kind of confused which one we actually hit. Very confused which one we hit. We've actually got some access deer right there. Ah, of course the hill got us screwed over. Ooh, there we go. Well, we got it at least. So that's another access down. <laughs> These hills, man. These hills don't like me. These hills are uh, not cooperating at all. Every time I get lined up on a shot, the axis deer dips down. Gotta love it. Well, we got a couple of them down. Not my most impressive shooting in the world, but... We got a couple down at least, and I guess that's really all that matters since we're going for respawns. Alright, so that one that we actually barely even hit is also dead, so... There's actually two of them over here, which is nice. Uh, this one's... oh wait, what? When did we shoot a female? 
Uh, I'm a little confused. I don't even remember shooting at a female. I, we had to have accidentally hit it. We had to have just accidentally hit it as it was running away behind one of the ones that we were shooting at. All right, we got some more access to your right here. This one is a level four, so we'll definitely take it first. There is a three and I think a couple twos that we will try to take after. I don't know how many we'll be able to get, but for sure, got to get the level four down and there is a female right there, but we'll go for this guy right now. Uh, let's get a quick range on it. It's 215. So let's try to take this guy down once he lifts his head up. I think we got the second one good. Yeah, we definitely did. So that's two of them down. Maybe we can hit a third. I believe we got it. All right, sweet. So we got three of them down. It's about as much as we'll want to take here because we don't have a stand to get into. I really should set one up, but I just haven't yet. So maybe in the future we'll put a stand here. All right, here's one of these little guys. This is the level four, 293. So this is a pretty small four, but still a four nonetheless and always good to get down. There is two more of them that we shot. I believe one of them ran a little bit further, but here's the second one we took out. This one is a level three. A okay size level three. Once again, nothing too insane. But here is the third one that we took out. I believe this is the one we shot as it was running away. Yeah, this is definitely the one we shot as it was running. Uh, this guy's just a level two. So you guys can really tell the difference between the twos and threes just by looking at this. It's a pretty drastic difference between the two levels. All right, so let's take out a few of these little teal. I think I did see one that might be melanistic. Uh, that was actually a red female, but I believe there was one that looked a little darker than the rest. Or not melanistic, what am I saying? Uh, piebald, that's what I meant to say. I thought I saw one that was, but it might have actually just been that red female. So I guess we'll take her out. There she goes. And yeah, these ones look pretty normal. Nothing crazy there. This one, however, does look a little bit darker. And it is now down. Nice. All right, so we got a couple more teal that will go in the lodge. I didn't see any good axis deer around here or any axis deer at all. As far as I can tell, at least. They could just be further back in the trees, but right now I'm not really seeing them, which is unfortunate. All right, so here's the little red female. Uh, another nice little filler for the small plaques. We will need to get some other variations eventually. I want to get one of the beige ones because that's probably my favorite of the female variations for the cinnamon teal. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anything besides beige and red for the cinnamon teal females. I don't think they have melanistic or piebald for the females. I know the males can have both of those, but I haven't seen them on the females, which is kind of strange, but all right. So here's this little guy right here. It is just a four and it wasn't as dark as I thought it was. I thought this might've been a piebald, but it is indeed just a regular one. So once again, not seeing access deer here. I know I've got some that drink kind of that way. So we'll go over there next, but there's quite a bit of teal out on the lake. So we'll probably take a few more of these guys while we can let's get these guys lined up I do want to try and get some uncommon fur variations some of the piebalds but I don't think I see any here except for maybe that guy which it's hard to tell but we'll go for that guy anyway just in case And one more for good measure. All right, so here is one of them. This is a 4.3, just a regular common male. I believe this was the second one we shot. So this one I kind of knew wasn't anything special, but these other two are the ones that I don't know about. One of these is the female. I believe it's this one. It looked common and yeah, it's just a common, but I kind of just took that one so we could get a third one down. But this is the one that I was curious about, and from the looks of it, seems like it is just a normal one. The shadows at a distance really make these guys look darker than they are, which is unfortunate, but 
I mean, either way, we're still getting teal down for respawns. All right, here we go. We can finally grab this guy. 4.20, so yeah, just a normal teal. Nothing special about that little guy. All right, so we got a few axes here right here. This guy right here is the biggest one. It's the only level four that I can see that is out in the open. We're probably going to go for this guy next, so we'll try to quickly transfer over. Ooh, almost got a third, but not quite. If he slows down, we'll try to take a shot. And it's a hit. I don't think it was vital, though, but maybe we can sneak another in. Yep, we got another in. All right, so he should die regardless, even if it wasn't a good shot. But we now have three axes here down, so let's go grab those. All right, so here's that little level four right here. Let's go ahead and just walk this way. 294, so... Another small four. We haven't really found any big, big fours yet. We saw a couple that were running off, but they never really gave us a good shot, but still a four. So let's go get the other ones. I'm really curious where we hit the third one because the second one dropped in its spot. So it was probably a heart shot based off of where we aimed. And yeah, it is a heart shot. Uh, this guy's actually almost as big as that four. So that's a pretty good size three. Now, like I was saying, I don't really know where this other one ran off to. I'm pretty sure it couldn't have gone too far because we did sink two shots into it. So I highly doubt it made it that far. Oh my gosh, there's more access to you right here. Uh, maybe we can get a shot on one. If we get lucky, I think we can. Here we go. This is the perfect angle. Not the best shot, though. We will have to put another in it actually hit this four right here. I didn't see that guy at first. All right, so there we go, 272. And second shot did hit a lung. So the second one was good, but the first one was not. So at least we hit it good on the second one. I'm not sure where these Axis Deer that we just shot ran off to. Uh, I doubt they went too far since Axis Deer are pretty weak. But the second one that we shot, the level four, definitely was not a great shot, so... Who knows, it might have ran further than I expect. All right, so here's one of them. This is the level two. Oh, we actually vertebrae shot it. Uh, that explains why it didn't die fast. All right, so yeah, we did eventually take this level four down, but it was definitely not a great shot. Very low bleed rate and it ran quite a ways, but we got it and that's really all that matters right now. It's only a 296, so once again with the smaller fours, we're getting lots of fours now. They're just a lot of the smaller rack, which is unfortunate. That one did have actually the bigger rack of the four, but, or I think at least, I think that was one of the bigger racks. I could be wrong, but either way, we're at least getting some fours. So that's nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's an albino red deer. That's not what we're looking for, but that's really, really cool. Uh, we need to try and get a shot into her. Uh, let's actually use the stand and see if we can sneak one in here. This is gonna be a hard shot, but... Oh, we nailed that. I think that was perfect. It was, oh my gosh, we actually nailed that shot. I'm kind of surprised with the way my shooting's been today, but Nice, let's go get that. All right, well, here we go. And yeah, this is indeed an albino red deer. Really, really cool. I wish it was a male, but still awesome. I don't believe we have an albino one in any of our multi mounts in the Spring Creek Manor, so I might replace one of them with this right here, actually. So that's actually really awesome. I'm glad we got one. It at least made it so this hunt wasn't completely lackluster because until now we were getting a lot of just small and average size access deer and not really anything else, but that kind of makes up for it. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, can't really see it very good there, but I'm pretty sure that's leucistic. I'm pretty sure we have a leucistic black buck right there. That is awesome. I've been trying to find another one of these guys for quite a while and just haven't been able to. We've got one in our older lodges, but we don't have one in the Spring Creek Manor. So I've been wanting to get another one, but we just don't have 
the best luck with him, it seems, but now we finally found another one. So it's 289. This should be a pretty makeable shot. In fact, that, um, yeah, that did the trick. Well then, all right, that's awesome. I'm really, really happy with that. I honestly think I'm more excited about this than the Axis Deer. All right, here's this little beauty right here. This is a pretty small one, but that is still super, super cool. Like I was saying, I've been wanting to find another one of these for quite a while, and now we've got one, so that is absolutely awesome. Let's get a quick picture and pick this guy up. All right, so it's a 22.20, not quite a gold, but it is indeed a leucistic. I believe these guys don't have an albino version. I'm pretty sure it's just leucistic and melanistic, if I remember correctly. So there's not a huge variety of rares with the black buck, but I do think that this one is the coolest. I like the leucistics better than the melanistics. That is absolutely awesome. Awesome addition to the lodge. Super happy to have found one of these guys. And we heart shot it from 290 meters. So couldn't really get much better than that. In fact, that was perfectly placed. Look at the placement on that. That is beautiful. Nice. All right, everybody, we are back here in the lodge, and I think what we're gonna do is actually move this axis deer right here and put our leucistic black buck right next to this little guy right here. I believe this was a troll. Yeah, this was a troll level five that we had taken out, but we'll put this guy right next to him. So let's get equal head poses. So I believe that is it. Yep, that is perfect. Awesome. And then we'll probably put the two red teals right here. I think that'll look pretty decent. In fact, I think I like that actually. Nice, that's looking pretty good. So we got a couple decent trophies, not as many as I was expecting to, but there is one more thing we need to do. And I believe I have that mount upstairs, but we need to take the piebald female out of that mount because having two piebalds in one mount doesn't look the best so I would like to put this albino one with this guy right here so let's do that real quick all right here we go we got a piebald male and our albino female and this is going to look better I think awesome yep that looks beautiful perfect all right well that is absolutely awesome. But I think that leucistic black buck is probably my favorite thing from this hunt. Such a cool trophy. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's get the melanistic axis right here. There we go. Awesome. So this room's starting to get filled up. We still have some smaller plaques to go. Uh, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plaques left in this room. And then this one will be completely filled. So... Let me know if you guys want me to kind of just go around all of the different maps and hunt a bunch of different bird species and rabbits maybe to kind of fill the last of these plaques before the true axis come out because like I was saying in the previous video, once true axis come out, I think I'm going to start a new lodge and we'll just call it quits for whatever we have in here. Anything that isn't filled by then will probably just leave unfilled because I do want to kind of start on a new lodge so we can actually add some larger trophies again because as of now we don't have any of the larger plaques left and I think this lodge is looking pretty good so we don't necessarily need all of the small ones to be filled because it's already relatively filled up like as you guys can see most of the main stuff is here it's just some of the smaller ones that aren't filled up so we could leave it like this but obviously we want to try and fill up as much as we can before the patch comes out but anyway thank you guys for watching the video if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I post daily Call of the Wild content and you're not going to want to miss out on any of it. But that's going to be it for now. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.